Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the power thirty in chapter twenty six. Chapter twenty six is about DC circuits. We can see we have this circuit. It looks a little bit difficult, right? It's a network of five equal resistor R connected to a battery epsilon. We need to determine the current I that flows out of battery. When you first time when you look at this circuit, you say, "Wow, so difficult!" Because you can see the connection is complicated. But wait, we can use Zierhoff's loop rule to solve it. See, we can see this point as point A, point B, point C, point D. As the current goes through I one, I two, I three, I four, I five, right? So first we look at the point A. So from this point, we can see the current flow in equals the current flow out, right? So I equal to I one plus I two, and then look at point B. So I two equal to I three plus I four. Then point C, we can see we have the I one plus I four equal to I five, and look at point D, that is I five plus I three equal to I. Next one. Zierhoff's loop rule, right? We can see, we can see there are three loops. This is a one loop, a gray, second loop, third loop. So we can write three equations for these three loops. First one, we look at the up left loop. See, we can see from the from the point I two. So this one, right? We from the point B do a loop. So this one, the current do the negatively, right? The current goes through it negatively. So this is a negative I two times R, and then plus I one times R, and then, uh, this way, plus the negative I two with R. You can see the potential from this A to C equals. So that means the potential for this one is I one times R should equal to the potential I two times.、Uh, R plus the I four times R agree. So just this one, Zierhoff's first loop, and the Zierhoff's second loop we look at there from the point A to the R to I three to R and to batteries, right? So this equal to zero. So first one from the epsilon, this is battery go out and it flows through the this uh this I two with R. So minus I two with R. And then minus I three with R right equal to zero. Yes, the next one we look at this loop. For this loop, we can see, uh huh. So first one, this I three right. So we go through this way, go through this way. So this is a negative I right. So negative I three times R plus I five I four times R plus I five times R. Now we get the three equations, and then from these seven equations, you can solve the current I equal to epsilon divided by R. Next one, use the value determined for I to find the single resistor equivalent resistance R that is equivalent to the five resistor network. So easy, right? As we talk about, equivalent resistance can be epsilon. This is a battery's voltages divided by the current we just find. And then you use epsilon divided by r, you find it is just equal to r. Thank you.